Today, we're going to talk about how to set up the XR Interaction Toolkit with the Oculus Quest. So let's jump right in. So let's get started. First things first, let's open Unity Hub. Now, for this particular setup, we need to make sure that we have the correct version of Unity. You probably have worked with versions 2019.2, but if we would like to use the XR Interaction Toolkit, we need to use a different version. It's gonna be the 2019.3 version for uh, using the XR Interaction Toolkit. If you don't have that, go ahead to the install section. Uh, as you may see, I have already two versions of the 2019.3. One is the 29.3. 0.05 and the other one is 2019.3.0 f1 but in any case if you don't have it please make sure to click on the add button and make sure to find one of the 2019.3 versions and follow the procedures in this case you're just gonna click on next I always make sure to uh, click on Android build support the main reason is because we have to work with the Oculus Quest and since the Oculus Quest OS is Android, well, we will need that feature as well. So make sure you have that installed and click on next and make sure to agree to the terms and conditions and you click on done and it will start installing the correct version for Unity on this, for this particular setup. Perfect. So once once you get that done, go back to the projects and we're going to click on, on new. We're going to create a new project, but make sure to select the right version. Make sure that you have it selected under 2019.3. I have either, I have two of them, so I'm going to pick the top one. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal at the moment. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Setup XR Interaction Toolkit or XR IT Oculus Quest. And if you have a specific location, just make sure to, to set up the right location. Once you have that set up, let's go and click on Create. Good. Now, if you have seen my previous videos about setting up the Oculus Quest to work uh, with Unity. It might be a little bit different uh, from what you were used to. And the very first thing that you will find different in here is that we need to, of course, install the XR Interaction Toolkit. In order to do that, we need to go to the window and let's select the package manager as well. Once you do so, we need to find out, find the XR Interaction Toolkit package, package for, for the project. Now, if you scroll all the way down, you will see that there's no XR Interaction Toolkit. What's going on here? The thing with the XR Interaction Toolkit is that the version is already this is still on preview, but it's available for, for people to test it and see how, how it starts working and see if the, the, the Unity team needs to make changes accordingly. So in order to find the preview packages, we need to go to the advanced dropdown. Once we go to the advanced dropdown, we're going to click on show preview packages. Once we do so, let's go, it's going to scroll all the way down. And you will find out the XR Interaction Toolkit. As I mentioned, it says preview. It's currently the version that is uh, I'm recording right now and it's available at the moment is the 0.9.3 version. Hopefully we'll get a version that is uh, not in preview mode. But for the purposes of video in this tutorial, we're gonna work with what we have at the moment. So we're gonna select it and we're gonna click on install. Let's wait until it imports all of those packages. Um, perfect. If you notice, it also installed the legacy or XR legacy input helpers. 
if you're gonna work with with augmented reality uh, functionality that the XR interaction toolkit has, we install our XR interaction toolkit. Great. Now, second thing, as usual, we need to go to the build settings and let's make sure that we change the platform uh, where we're gonna run the the the, the zines. We're gonna click on on Android and we're gonna switch the platform. Good. Now, if you don't have it uh, already plugged into your computer, uh, make sure to have your Oculus Quest uh, connected to your computer and selected as the default device. So we're gonna select it right away. And as well, we can change the texture compression instead of done override, we're gonna set it to ASDC. Perfect, our build settings are configured. Now, the other thing that we need to configure here is to go to the player settings. Now, if you notice here, you can go here to the player settings, either you can go to a project settings by going through the player settings or simply just going or accessing the project settings through the edit option in the menu and then selecting project settings. It's just the same way. Cool. This is another aspect that is a little bit different than the particular setup that we use for uh, the Oculus with just Unity without any XR interaction toolkit. Before, we will use to go to the player settings and we will find the Android tab. Once we will find the Android tab, we will go to the XR settings and then we will find this virtual reality supported and we will check it. For this case, we don't need it. It's gonna be, it's deprecated uh, for this uh, version of Unity for the 2019.3. But something that we, we can still do is to make sure to set up the, the, the correct or a minimum API level that, that is gonna be supported by the, by the Oculus Quest. You can leave it as it is, but I prefer it to just change it back to Android 7.0. Remember, the Oculus Quest uses the Android 7.1. So let's just select the 7.0. We're good to go there. And now we're gonna go instead of here, the player settings. This is gonna be a new available option. It's gonna be called XR Plugin Management. Basically what they are telling you is that we need to install the plugin, the, the plugin management in order to make it work with um, other, other uh, HMD devices. If you don't know what an HMD, and I didn't know that before, it was an HMD means head mounting device. So if you have an Oculus Quest, that's an HMD. So anyway, we're gonna click the XR plugin management Let's wait. Good. Now you will see that there are also different plugins, XR plugin providers available. There are the Magic Leap, the Oculus XR, Windows XR plugins. As you might guess, we're gonna use the Oculus XR plugin and we're gonna install it. As you have seen, the Oculus XR plugin was installed and there's an option available here now called plugin providers and it's a little bit different but even though you you install the XR plugin Oculus XR plugin we need to load that uh, plugin within our project so within the plugin providers we're gonna click on the plus button or the plus icon and you will find the Oculus loader option basically that will load the plugin or the Oculus XR plugin within our plug project. Uh, it seems that it did not select it. There it is, now I picked it. After you install the XR plugin management, you notice as well that there are different options as well that, that came up within the menus, many options. The input helpers, the Oculus and XR setting, tracking, sorry. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but after we install the XR plugin management, we there are some options available uh, within the menu called input helpers, 
Oculus XR Tracking. In this particular scenario, we don't really need to mess with any of these. And you will see the XR Tracking. And this is something different. If you click on that, uh, they will tell you cameras no longer automatically follow the HMD in the VR. To have cameras track the position of the HMD, use the following button to attach a track post driver to the old, to all cameras tagged as main camera in the current scene. You might be wondering what a track post driver is. It took me a little bit of time, but it's something that is included within the, the XR uh, interaction toolkit and you will see in a little bit but just in the meantime we're gonna click on this just gonna make sure that uh, we're gonna select this option at the top uh, just click add track post driver to cameras with main camera attack in the scene once you do so we're gonna click on close and the basic setup is complete now, how can we confirm that our setup is really good? Well, we need to build a project as well as we need to see if, if at the moment of building a project, if the, the for example, the headset, the Oculus headset, is going to be able to track my movements and it's going to move or shift accordingly based on the environment that I have within the, the Unity uh, environment that I set up. So. In that particular case, we're gonna quickly create a small mini environment. As usual, we're just gonna uh, create a plane just to have some type of reference. Now, let's take a look at another thing that we need to have in order to use the, the XR uh, Interaction Toolkit. We need to go to the game object, any option. If you go to a menu, a game object menu option, you will see that there's an XR option available. That option got included with all these different options available because of the XR interaction toolkit. Let's make sure to click or find an option that has XR rig. So there's a room scale XR rig or a stationary XR rig. Either of those two is what is going to allow to complete the setup of the Oculus Quest with the XR Unity uh, Interaction Toolkit. And you will see soon. So let's click on the stationary XR rig. And perfect, it's going to include it within our application or within our game object. And if you see an XR Interaction man Manager got included. This is key guys, this is important because in order to make this work, in order to have uh, the full potential of the XR Interaction Toolkit and all different options that, that it come or features that come with, at least you must have to have an XR Interaction Manager and more specifically a script. You can have any game object here, uh, a create empty uh, game object, but that game object must have an XR Interaction Manager script. Perfect. So we're gonna see that we also have the XR rig. And the XR rig is what is gonna have all the uh, the main platform, the, the camera that is gonna track the headset. And I don't know if you noticed, but before we had a main camera here outside the XR rig. And once we included that main that XR rig, the main camera got shifted inside our XR rig. So that's something to take into consideration. And remember that we're talking about a track post driver? Well, if you click on the main camera inside the XR rig and you find the inspector or you go to inspector and you go all the way to the bottom, you will see that there's a track post driver component. This is what they were talking about when they were setting up the project settings uh, in the XR plugin management and XR tracking. This is what they were talking about. And this is what is going to allow to basically keep track of the position or of the this particular player, let's call it, uh, based on the headset 
position or rotation and if you notice if you go back to a track post driver <clears throat> you will see that there are different options and one of them is called tracking type if you want to just keep the default option that's perfect that's what we need but uh, there are some scenarios that you might need to just rotate and not change the pos position or sometimes you can also just select the position on only but there won't be any rotation whatsoever if you rotate um if you do rotating movements with the headset and yeah that's all let's make sure to leave it the default options as it is and uh, the set generic xr device the center uh, for the device uh, for the post source let's leave it as center right uh, hmd reference basically we're good to go here if you notice as well there are two controllers that were included as well even though if you try to to focus on to, to that particular game object and let's let's for example let's move the whole XR rig all the way above this plane good so if you click on the left hand controller or, or the hand right hand controller you will you will notice that there's no really like any hand whatsoever but these controllers these game objects have xr controllers included or xr controller scripts included within their game object each of them have configure those the controllers to track the left hand or the right hand um, controller so basically it comes with everything already we don't have to do much at all you will see also that it's got xr ray interactor interactor component or script and this is where it's going to allow in the for future projects it's going to allow to to inter interact or game objects that have an interactable uh, script as well so it's just for future references it's for you to know in the future why this is available and the fu potential functionalities that it's going to allow us to, to do. But other than that, that's good. We're good to go here. Let's go ahead and build this project. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Control B. And let's give it a name to our new APK. And I'm going to call it Setup XR Oculus Quest. Or set up XR IT Oculus Quest. We're gonna save that APK. Let's see, it seems that there are some problems. I'm gonna call it a little bit different. I'm gonna call it Quest One. Cool. Let's see what's the final output after we finish building our simple setup okay guys so this is what the final output was uh, as you might see i'm able to rotate uh, easily and the, the environment actually rotates which is is, is a pretty good uh, symptom also another thing is that you might be seeing these uh, rays and these are coming from my left and right hand right hand controllers and these rays or those are x-ray scripts those are what are gonna allow us to interact with our game objects in the future when we start viewing our uh, tutorials about how to interact uh, with our things with with this xr interaction toolkit with the oculus quest but anyway here you go and you successfully made it work thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like what you saw, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe as well to my channel if you want to stay tuned for future videos about XR development with the Oculus Quest and augmented reality development. Hope to see you until the next time.